I carry three items for an emergency kit in case I uh, get soaked. So I've got wool socks, I've got wool long underwear, and a um, man-made material shirt uh, that has a hood. So I'll keep those separate in a dry bag, and I've actually never had to deploy those. Lucky me. What I'll actually be wearing are uh, hunter weight wool socks, wool long underwear, wool pants, I won't use a belt, I'll have a suspender, a man-made uh, material shirt with a hood, a heavyweight wool shirt, my wool jack coat, a wool scarf, and then a windbreak jacket also with a hood. I'll have the bush hat that I made, a pair of leather logger boots, a pair of mittens, and a pair of Thinsulate leather gloves. Okay, I've got a hammock piece of material for ground tarp. That's my 1616 tarp. A couple of tent pegs. That's a 1212 tarp. A couple of flashlights and batteries. Cordage. Bungee cords. Tree straps. Clips. 20 foot long to 100 foot long pieces of 550 cord. Wood splitter, saw, folding saw, knife, small shovel, cast iron fry pan and uh, flapjack turner, solo stove, those containers have cotton balls with petroleum jelly on them, fire starters. That is some dry wood. We're going into a very wet wood area. Coffee pot. A couple of cups. Lightweight titanium, titanium spoon. Army mess kit. Sawyer water filtration. Soap and rags, water bottles, carry kit, emergency medical, emergency clothing, 70 plus liter bag, minus 20 army sleeping system, that is an air inflate mat, that's a regular mat and a piece of uh, mylar that's double mylar and there's my pillow in there you know, here's the food that I'm taking for our 54 to 60 hour sub freezing trip so six Snickers bars four sets of dehydrate spaghetti I made a day and a half ago Bacon, six eggs, pound of summer sausage, bags of preset bannock, so just add water, coffee, enough for six pots, tea bags, some flatbread, peanut butter, smoking tobacco. and some nighttime juice.